Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging, and today we're going to be going over what size rack you need for your ball python. So let's get started. And a quick little disclaimer for everyone, everything you're going to see on my channel, everything I talk about are all things that I have found work the best. Some things may not work best for you or for your animals, especially when you put them in a different environment. If you go and get a reptile rack from me and in my room it works perfectly with 4 inch heat tape, open sides, and then you go and you put it in a 50 degree basement, that's things you're going to want to think about. So if you want to get something from me, think about where it's going to go. You can ask me questions. We can work things, especially like for example if you want to put something in a basement. I can go and I can put extra heat tape. I can put larger heat tape in there for you. We, if you're doing like a bearded dragon, I can do an extra light fixture, stuff like that. But I need to know those types of things in order to best direct you. And when you get these things, you also have to do a lot of research, research yourself. I'm going to post videos and keep doing it to try to help people along and give information that I can. But a lot of it's going to come down to trial and error on your part. So the best thing I can say is if you're going to get a cage, a rack, from me or from anybody, make sure you get them well in advance before you're going to need it. That way you can tinker with it. That way you can see what you need to set the thermostat to or what bulb you're going to need or what size wad dome light fixture you're going to put in or anything like that. But everything I'm going to say is all from my experience only and I found that it works for the majority of other people I've helped out with but everything is still going to be up to you guys. So there are four basic sizes and styles for when it comes to ball pythons. They go from a 6 quart, 12 quart, 28 and up to 41. I like to use Sterlite so all these are going to be Sterlite bins that you're going to see but if you go through other companies, other places, you can get other ones, but they're all about the same size. Some will be different lengths, but generally this is just what I found works best. So we're going to go from a six quart bin. It's going to be an animal that we're going to say is from any weight from when it hatches to 200 to 250 grams. A 12 quart is going to be anything from 200 to 50 all the way up to about 400. 28 quart bin is going to be 400 to about 1,000 to 1,350. All depending on how well that animal's eating, thriving. We'll show you a little bit of an example. 41 quart is going to be for a full grown adult. One little thing, don't go and try to put a baby into one of these adult bins. Also, if you want a adult ball python rack, I'm going to say a 41 quart rack. Don't try to put a six month old corn snake in here. It's going to be able to escape because there is a rim around it so that there is airflow through the bin. That way they're able to slide in and out. If you put the wrong size animal in the wrong size rack, you can get animals that can escape. They might not eat for you and they may not thrive. So keep that in mind when you if you ever decide you want a rack going forward what you're going to need. We're going to be going over what size rack or what bin size you need for the ball python or the collection that you have. One of the pied babies that hatched here a little bit ago. But we're going to start small so when babies are first born they're going to be in something like this. This is a six quart bin. We've gone over it a couple of times but for example this little girl right now she's at 83 grams and she's perfect in the six quart bin. Rule of thumb we're going to go by is 0 to 250 grams. She can stay in this 6 quart bin. This right here is my hatchling rack. Um, I would never recommend one this big, especially when you have to be able to move it around. But it, this one has the basic setup of heat tape in the back, 3 inch heat tape to be exact, along the back. It's all different, so one piece of heat tape heats three of these shelves. That way I can put the heat tape in the middle and there's not so much fluctuation throughout the entire thing. Even if you just have one snake, one hatchling, you all you need is you just take a bin out and you keep the lid with it. Put a few holes on top like this. You can even go and add clips to the side. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but for example if you have a baby in here sometimes they can try to push out. So if you clip both sides your baby won't be able to get out. People who don't want an entire rack, you just want one or two setups, this is the easiest way to go. Again, this is for a baby that has hatched out all the way up to about 200 to 250 grams. Next size we have right here, this is what I call the combo rack. It fits 12 quart bins and 28 quart bins. What you do is when your animal, let's say 200, 250 grams, you're ready to move up to the next size. This is called a 12 quart bin. 
It's about double the size of the six quart, so they're gonna be good in this until they're about 450, 500 is gonna be pushing it, but they could be good in this for a while. This specific female right here is at 395 grams. So because everyone else has switched over, I'm gonna be switching her over in just a couple of meals, but this is about the size that you're gonna start getting the next size bin ready. She's just under the 400 gram mark. We're gonna start getting her next setup ready so that way in about a month or two when she gains the last couple of grams, she'll be ready to upgrade to the next size. The reason why this rack is so nice is because it also fits the 28 quarts turned sideways. 28 quart Sterlite bin is two foot wide, so it allows you to fit the next size larger hide. Let's see. So you're able to fit the next size up hide in here, which the animal really will appreciate. And then you can still stick with the same water dish, or generally I like to switch to this size. Generally I like to switch to this size, which also has a lip. As you can see, the bowl was hiding underneath it. It works perfectly as a hide and for a water dish. And this is going to be especially for anything and if anything feeds slow don't go up too quickly so if you have let's say a younger collection of animals you can even let's say you even have one or two babies what i did was i ended up wanting one six quart bin so this is actually a six quart bin with the lid on just slid in there it'll still fit you just need the lid for six quart because it's a different height so if you have something with like younger animals and you're just starting out the combo is a great great way for you to be able to get babies you could put the six quart in and just set on the heat tape with the lid especially for younger animals that you're getting in you want to grow up and then the 28 quart anything that's still a sub adult this right here is another style of 28 quart this is the standard 28 quart so you actually have to pull out the entire bin still has the same setup you can still do the exact same type of thing to it it just only fits the 28 quart bin so lastly we have our 41 quart rack the only difference is instead of being two foot deep this is three foot deep this is going to be for anything that is an adult size if you get very very large ball pythons like you're talking five six thousand gram like older animals you can do something even larger I'd recommend something like more like an enclosure like these Ackies are in but if you have a general size female adult ball python or you plan to breed that way there's a little bit more room 41 quart rack is what you're gonna want to do as a quick example this right here is a 2500 gram albino pied female she does perfectly in these larger bins um, she's bred so have all the other females but for example of a good size comparison she's a good four foot long and she's a very heavy snake and she does perfectly in this size bin she'll be good for the next few years she's already about five years old now the reason why you don't want to go too big too quickly is here's a very good example this right here is a pastel and cheap hide that i've had she keeps hovering between 1200 and 1500 when I first put her in this larger bin when she was around a thousand grams, she didn't want to eat for me. I had to put her back into a 28 quart. And it took till she reached just a few weeks ago. She's finally the size that I've put her in here and now she's eating in this larger enclosure. But if you put them too quickly from a smaller bin to a larger bin, they're going to refuse to eat for you. The only size I don't actually have up here that I make is called the hybrid rack. And what I do is it has 41 quart bins on the bottom and 28 quart bins on the top. Put the 20 quarts are pushed back so you almost have like a little work area in front of you. I'll try to put a clip in or a photo in right here just so you guys have an idea about it. So you to know what size rack you're going to need, you have to have a plan. Like if for example, if you just have a pet, I wouldn't even really go with a rack. I'd probably just get six a 6 quart bin over heat tape with a thermostat and then I get a 12 quart and then 28 quart and then by the time it's about a year and a half, two years old, I would just get an actual enclosure for it. Or you could get a one bin rack of each thing, but I think that's kind of overkill. If especially a nice display case worked really, really well. A nice display case looks really good and it's a lot easier. You can put decorations in it, stuff like that. If you want to breed or you just want to have a larger collection, it's a lot easier to have rack systems like this. So you just want to make sure you're not moving it up too quickly. You want to make sure that the heat is all dialed in. Because my room is so warm, anything around a 75 to an 80 degree room, I do really well with smaller bins have 3 inch heat tape, 4 inch heat tape, and then I can also do, for example, if somebody has a really cold, if somebody has a colder room or they're worried about the temperature, I can also do 12 inch heat tape underneath individually plugged for each level so if anyone is local to Buffalo and needs a rack or they need an enclosure, an incubator, anything like that shoot us a message. All the information's right here on our YouTube page for Obscure Reptiles and Caging 
and we have a lot of baby snakes that are going to be hatching out. The pides are all sold. We have more pides hatching and about 50 something other babies that will be hatching out here starting in the next few weeks. So if anyone wants anything, we cannot ship cages and racks. We pick up only by buffalo, but we can ship reptiles anywhere in the United States. Unfortunately, the hardest part of all of this is you have to kind of go through the racks. If you have a bunch of baby, rack, baby snakes to begin with, you kind of need a hatchling rack. If you have a lot of younger snakes of 28 or a combo rack, you're going to need one. And then when they're adults, you're going to need a 41 cord. So there's really no good solution, one rack that does all of it. But with the hybrid, the combo, and then the adult 41 cord, it's just about everything you're going to need. If you're doing things like boas and stuff, I'm trying to find larger bins that would accommodate for that type of stuff, but unfortunately 41 quart is the largest that we currently do. For things larger than that, we do cages like 6x2x1s by by and things like that. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Just want to say hi, anything like that, I do my best to respond to everybody. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do, it really helps out. And we're going to be doing videos every Wednesday, so we'll see you next Wednesday.